The markets came back strong today, indicating a morning star signal at the same level the Dow formed a morning star signal just a few weeks ago, telling us that this level is probably a support level and a double bottom support area, which could move the next wave to the same magnitude as this wave right here, which would definitely break out through the recent highs. The NASDAQ also showed a compellingly strong chart in that it had gapped up right near the T-line and closed above it. The gap up in itself shows a lot of strength, and notice where it did, right off the 50 at the same level it bottomed out before. This is not rocket science. This is just observing where the bullish strength comes back into a trend. The same analysis can be applied to commodities and currencies. For example, the U.S. dollar came right back hit the uh, right close to the 50-day moving average, did a doji sandwich back up through the T-line and this downtrending channel, indicating our next move is probably going to be back up to the top of the trend channel. Knowing what these signals tell you at important technical levels, like at a bottom of a trend channel or at a support level, just shows you exactly what everybody else is doing at those levels immediately. So you don't have to wait for confirmation. You can be buying immediately. That same scenario was based on our recommendation today for option trades on CYBR. It had a strong price move coming out of a fry pan bottom. It consolidated. Notice what it's done over the last few weeks. A morning star signal, strong bullish uh, signal. A kicker signal, strong bullish signal. Piercing signal, strong bullish signal. And today they did a doji sandwich gap up through this downtrending channel, staying above the T-line making a good possibility that wave three could be in progress, which would have the same magnitude as this move right here. This makes for an excellent high profit, profit, uh, low risk type option trade, because your upside potential could be another 30 points to the upside. Your downside risk may be two or three points if it closes back below the T-line. All this is based upon simple analysis visually of what, happens in human natures that are creating buy signals and at what levels they do it. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.